Well, good morning, good morning, good morning guys. guys, and welcome to Gaiman, another yeah. Welsh community here in Patagonia. We just arrived, we took the bus over from Peleu, scenic journey. Route yeah, it seven. is a scenic journey, and it took a little bit longer than we had anticipated, too. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be like 15 minutes, but it was it like took a bit it was about 45. Yeah, but it was so cool. We went through some really rural areas, we saw farmlands. We saw people out cycling. Mm -hmm. It was just beautiful. The sun was a fantastic little ride just to get here. And now we have arrived in the center of town and well, we've got a busy day ahead of us. We're planning to do a little walk, a little historic walk around town, have afternoon tea, a Welsh afternoon tea. Yep. Maybe we can find a pub for lunch. I'm feeling hungry <laughs> at the moment. And Surprise, yeah. huh? <laughs> That's today's plan, just to learn a bit more about the Welsh settlers who yeah. came here and explore the town. Let's go check it out. So, we are now walking up to Mirador Gaiman, which is a little lookout point so we can get a lay of the land. My camera lens is looking a bit dusty here. It is a bit of a dusty town. This is my new puppy friend. Puppy friend as we walk, as we walk along the river. Puppy friend! We continued our walk through town and ended up along the banks of the Chibut River. This river right here played a crucial role in the development of Gaiman as it allowed the Welsh settlers to create irrigation canals to send water to their farms. Alright, since we've just arrived in town, let's talk about transportation because getting to Gaiman is a little bit different in terms of buying a bus ticket. So we came from Trileu and we had to get this card where you can load money. The card was 85 pesos and they won't take it back at the end. It's yours to keep, you have to buy it. Yeah, so just over two US dollars yeah. for the card. And then for the journey itself, it was 45 pesos per person. Yeah. Um, and we were able to load our journeys like coming and then going back, so 90 total. And it's a nice scenic route. If you, There's two different routes, right? There are two routes, yes. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. If you want the scenic route, you need to get on the bus that follows Route 7. Okay. Route Siete. So ask the bus driver that. Yeah. And the company is 28 de Julio. This is exactly what the bus looks like. Green so, and yellow. The journey itself was 45 minutes and I'm really glad that we decided to take the scenic route here. Yes. We went through some really nice areas. Yeah. And the buses are pretty frequent. I think it's about once every hour or so. Yeah. Um, the schedules aren't really posted anywhere, so on the way back the guy told us just stand at the bus stop We come by once every hour, <laughs> so I guess we'll do that. We'll go yeah. stand there guys We found a pub. It's got a dragon it's Gotta mean it's Welsh <laughs> That's how we choose our food. It's right in the center of town. So this is very convenient The food has arrived. We ended up getting the Sorrentinos Gualia. Sorrentinos are kind of like round ravioli. They're big, stuffed with goodness. These have pumpkin and they have basil. They're in a leek sauce with bits of almonds on top. And it smells so good. And there's so much cheese. Let's not forget all the cheese. Mm. The pumpkin is so sweet and smooth and creamy. This is just delightful. Like they don't have a lot of Welsh dishes on the menu. This one has a Welsh name. And I'm pleasantly sur surprised. My poor Sorrentino. Come back to me. Mm. Super good, huh? And now Sam's dish. Yeah guys, so I went with uh, pumpkin soup. It already had a bit of melted cheese in there. 
but add some do more. some additional. So look at this. Ooh, Check that out. Look at that. So it's gonna stir that around, let the cheese melt. Mmm. Oh wow. It's so delicious. It's got like an intense pumpkin flavor. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. It's a little bit sweet. It's also salty too. Yeah. It's a perfect kind of soup for like a, a cold day. Mm -hmm. Like the perfect winter soup. Yeah, I've been walking around for a little bit. We've built up an appetite. Yeah. It's not quite tea time here. It doesn't happen until two. So we're having a, just a little bite of lunch and this is perfect. Yeah, and we're sharing a main and an appetizer because we don't want to get yeah, too we full. We don't want to get stuffed. Time. We <laughs> want cake. It's another, we're not drinking wine either. We don't want, we don't want to get sleepy. Yeah. We've got a lot to do today. This is kind of the beginning of our, of our, of our outing. And yeah, this is just a perfect, uh, perfect little meal to have before we, we check out more of the town. Mm. All right, guys, we are now walking into a deep, dark tunnel. Dusty, too. Super dusty. Like, there are clouds of dust blowing our way. Um, this is part of Ferrocarril Central Chubut. So, the railway line for Central Chubut. And um, it was built in the year 1914 because the locals refused to allow the train to run through the town. I guess they didn't want to ruin the peaceful vibe of it. Um, so they had to dig this tunnel through the mountain. Right now we can walk through a 300 meter stretch of it. Let's go do that. Let's go do it. Well, we walk the length of the tunnel. Kind of creepy when, you know, you're the only two people here and it's a curved tunnel, so you don't know what's around the bend. But at the very end, they're playing a little movie about the history of this railway and the train station. So yeah, it's interesting. And, and they, they also Welsh have subtitles. Welsh subtitles for the movie. And then you have these like little info points along the way. That just give you information about yeah, different aspects they of give the you, railway. They give you information, but they also uh, illuminate the tunnel a little bit as well. Yeah, ooh, out of focus. Oh, delicious couple. Oh, oh, how sweet. your babies? Oh, these are your babies! Our next stop was the Anthropological Museum, which is situated in a two-story brick home. This museum pays homage to indigenous cultures and history, and it specifically focuses on the Dewelches and their relationship with the Welsh settlers. There was a guide on site who walked us through the exhibits, but just as a heads up, all the information is in Spanish. We then continued to our second museum of the day, the Welsh Regional Museum, which is situated in the old train station and houses many of the artifacts that belong to the first pioneers. We had another guided visit here and learned all about the Ice Tetbod, a Welsh poetry and music festival that plays an important role in keeping the Welsh culture alive here in Gaiman. Alright guys, checking in because it's been a while. We have managed to visit two museums already. We've been to the Anthropology Museum. Talks about the Tewilches, the Mapuches. Talks about the Welsh. Um, so yeah, that was really interesting. And then from there we went to the Regional Museum, uh, which also focuses on the Welsh their arrival here. We haven't been doing a whole lot of talking on camera because the people who run these museums, they want to talk to you and they want to walk through the museum with you. Um, so yeah, we kind of put the cameras away and we're just chatting with them and learning a bit more about this part of Patagonia. But now we are hungry. It is time for afternoon tea, our Welsh tea. So we're gonna go find a place. There's so many tea houses to choose from in this town, but 
we'll narrow it down to one. Oh, here we go. Oh, gracias. Pan wow. blanco, pan negro, sanguchitos de queso, scones, tarta de crema, frutos rojos con crocantes, manzana, frambuesa con crema y gelatina y bizcochuelo blanco. Wow. Gracias. Gracias. All right, guys. So we decided on a tea house. We chose Tea Gwim. I believe in Welsh. Got the name right, right here. Tea Gwim. On the napkins. Um. So yeah, it looks amazing. Like the food's already arrived on it's one plate. One incredible spread of food. Yeah. Look at that. On this one plate, we've got the bread. Yeah. Uh, we have scones. white bread, whole wheat, cheese sandwiches, scones, and, and lots of butter on that bread. It's already pre-buttered. Pre pre mm, very us. nice. On the other, we've got six different oh, cakes to man. choose from, my friends. We're not going to be hungry today. <laughs> and the price, it was 14 US dollars per person. Not bad. That's one of the most affordable afternoon teas we've had. When we were looking at doing one in, in, in actual Wales, in, in Cardiff, I think it was... That's all expensive. It may, it, may have, it may have been 50 pounds, and I think we may have, we may have been a little bit too cheap. Mm -hmm. How is that? Very nice. I'm already starting with a little mini cheese sandwiches the bread's very light fluffy so good so good huh have a scone we have two jams but they said the fig one was exceptionally good. delicious so put it on mm. good stuff they were right <laughs> it's really nice i'd say we're off to a great start and we haven't even tried the cakes yet Having Welsh afternoon tea was definitely one of our favorite experiences in town. Our one tip is to come very, very hungry. Skip lunch because the amount of bread, scones, and cakes you'll be served is astounding. All right, bread time. A slice yeah. of each. There's so many different things to try that we're, we're splitting it up for the camera. Let's try the two different jams. Ooh, what is strawberry? That looks like it could be strawberry, yeah. I think that's what it is. And what's this one again? That one is figs. Oh, the figs. It is delicious. I had a bite of Wait yours. Wait till you try it. Mm. It looks like they're bringing us more hot tea. More hot tea. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. That's With awesome. With a new cozy. You gotta love the tea cozies. Let's try that fig jam. Mm. Really good. Both the jams have such different flavors. It's nice to alternate between the two mm -hmm. different flavors. If I did choose one, I'd go with the fake, just because it's it's so unique, it's so tasty. Now cakes. Cake, cake, cake. <laughs> There's six, so I'm we're each trying three. A happy gal. Okay, so this one they said it's called torta negra in yeah. Spanish, which would mean a black cake. It's a Welsh recipe, and it may look like chocolate, but apparently it's made with sugar, okay. brown sugar. It looks like it might have raisins too. Mm, it's is very nice. This is my first time having a cake like this. Mm -hmm. It kind of has like a, like a caramelized sugar. It does have raisins and walnuts. Good this start. has been a nice surprise, something new. And you've got more. <laughs> Two more. I do have more. Ooh, let's continue. Hello, my friend. Come to me. Wow. This one they said is a cream pie. Can't say I've ever had cream pie before. Mm. Good. Oh. The best way I can describe the cream is like clotted cream, what you would put on the scone. Right. But it's like already in the pie. So the only thing that can make this better is grabbing a little bit of jam. Ooh. So yeah. then you've got like an actual scone because you've got like the layer of dough, the pie crust, the cream, the jam. It's like you got a it all. scone in a bite. You got it all. Mm. Perfection. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> that was awesome. Great discovery here. You've got one more to go, don't you? Mm. It just doesn't end. One more. Ooh, I need a sip of tea. Also, Balance. the music. Are they playing Welsh music? I don't understand Welsh, but I can't understand this language. It's not English. It's not Spanish. Next. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Big Slice of Cake over there. Look at all that cream in the mm. middle. In Spanish, this is called bizcochuelo, which I can best describe as kind of like a sponge cake. It's a vanilla sponge cake, mm. but it's got cream, the raspberries, and like a sugar glaze over it. 
Ooh, I need to like catch my breath. All that sugar. <laughs> Eating sugar is tiring. <laughs> Really nice. mm. and so, so far the quality has been good on everything mm. right no, no duds no duds I love this it's like somewhere in between a glaze and icing and fondant oh wow all three collide oh, <laughs> it's good it's good stuff huh and I like the tartness of the raspberries and I mean I've got, only tried three there's another three more types of cakes to go I'll, oh. I'll take care of those for us mm-hmm I need a break. <laughs> well, well. Friends, I, I'm getting a little sleepy over here. I'm rotunding. My belly's protruding. But there's <laughs> such good food. We have to finish this. The show so, must go on. The show must go on. Okay, let's try this. This looks so good. Let's gonna cut it like that. Ooh, it looks like a crumble. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, a strawberry crumble. The crumble on top has additional sugar, plus the jam's really sweet. This may be the sweetest thing we've tried so far. It's really tasty. It's also tart a bit. This mm. is gonna have to be our dinner. Like, there's no way we can possibly I, it's eat. It's not just dinner. I don't even think I'm gonna have breakfast if I'm mm. morning. What is next? So, looks like we've got like an apple a pie. Hi, apple Guys, pie. Guys, they did not skimp out on that layer of apple in the middle. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm all those apples such a nice thick layer of apples i've added some cinnamon the crust i guess you would call it is, is super thin so you're getting a lot of fruit not too much crust which is the way i prefer delicious pie and there's one more and last six. but not least we have the brightest brightest one yet this is this kind of has a gelatin jello we have a layer of cream in the middle Ooh. and then a thicker crust at the bottom with raspberries mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Raspberries, cream, and yes. jello. So smooth with the jello. You're right, everything has been so delicious here. It's just, it's <laughs> starting to get full. I'm loving it though. If you come to Gaiman, it is the thing to do. Oh, and I should mention that almost all of the tea houses don't open until 2, the hours of 2 to 7. Or 2.30, some even at 2.30. Oh, that's right. All right, now that we've had a taste of everything, can you choose a favorite out of all the cakes and pies? Oh my gosh, they're all so good. There was really nothing that was a disappointment, but I'd say my favorite, if I had to choose one, is right down here. Apple pie. The apple pie. And I think the reason I liked it so much is just the copious amount of apples. Yeah. Oh man, I'm getting sleepy here. And I'm on a mine, sugar high. I think we can guess mine. It was the cream pie. The scone in pie form with yeah. clotted cream. Right here. Right here. Ooh, yeah, I like you. So guys, we're just gonna nibble away. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can finish it all. I think we can. We're getting close. Getting close. Well, we didn't quite finish everything, but we enjoyed the cake so much that we got them packed up to go. And let me tell you, they made a wonderful breakfast the following morning. From there, we visited one final attraction, the first house in Gaiman. Here we had a guide who was able to give us a tour in English. We learned that the first house in town was built by David Roberts and his wife Jemima Jones in 1874. It was a stone and mud construction that originally had a straw roof. Inside, they had furniture, paintings, and household items that would have belonged to this pioneer family. Guys, that is a day trip. Yeah. Spent the full day in Gaiman. What a, what a day trip. We did Loved a, it. a little bit of hiking, a little bit of self exploration. Three museums. Three museums. Tea. Oh, we had lunch too. Had lunch. We had cakes. I don't, I don't think we've packed that much into a day trip in a yeah. long time. That was, that was awesome. Just love the chill vibe of this place. We liked it so much. We plan to come again tomorrow. We're coming back. More tea? Yeah. We're gonna visit a farm or something? There's a farm I really want to see. Our guide on one of our tours at yeah. Peninsula Valdez was telling us about this place where you can tour the farm, they sell fresh produce, yeah. jams. So we're just really curious. We're gonna go check it out. Yeah. And yeah, this was an amazing day. The museums, we visited three museums and learned so much about the history of the Welsh here, the Tehuelches, and just 
fascinating. Yeah, I, um, I, I feel like this place is such an underrated gem. And if you guys are traveling around here in Trileu, it's definitely worth coming out to Gaiman. Come spend a day yeah. or come spend the night if you want. That way you can have more time here. Yep. But yeah, we're just waiting for a bus to arrive. Back to Trileu we go. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. In the next video. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.